How's it going guys? It's Friday, June 23rd. And before I get going with the video, I gotta thank you guys for 500 subscribers. How awesome is that? All thanks to you guys that we do all this. Super cool to see, love to see it, and let's keep pushing it further. But in order to celebrate 500 subscribers, we got some cool stuff in this week, so let's check it out. Starting this out this week like I often like to do sometimes. I've got a handful of Epistogramma this time, so we're gonna run through a few of them real quick and then stop on one really cool one. Starting with the gorgeous Epistogramma Cockatoides, double red, beautiful, love them. And moving right along to the, I'm sure I'll never pronounce this right, Epistogramma Agassii, Agassii, I don't know. <laughs> These are the gorgeous double reds. Love the bright orange fins with the beautiful blue bodies. We've got a number of these guys in right now, too. And of course, we've got a couple of the gorgeous Cockatoides Orange Flash, which is a much less patterned, but much, much brighter colored fish. So really, really cool. And they have some serious finage on them. And finally, one really cool one. These guys are the Epistogramma Trifasciata. They are a gorgeous epistogramma species on top of just having a beautiful powder blue body shape with some really, really nice big tall fins. They also are well known for being one of the smaller epistogramma species. So those of you who like to keep your nano tanks, these guys make a great addition. And they just get this beautiful blue color with age, so they contrast well with dark backgrounds and green plants. And moving right along to our next awesome fish of the week, who's almost too curious of the camera. There we go. We have a couple of pairs of these absolutely gorgeous Gardner's killifish. They, you just cannot go wrong with these killifish beaches. They are just one of freshwater's gems. Absolutely incredible looking fish. Thank you for giving me a nice broadside shot there. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Love to see it. Speaking of incredible and fun little oddball fish, how could you not love the little marble hatchet fish? They look like an awesome piece of marble or granite slate, and they're a fun little surface dweller. So if you have a tank full of a lot of bottom feeders or midline swimmers, these are great for taking up that surface dweller position. And they look cute while doing it. A couple more super, super cool fish to go through before we get to our final little surprise fish. Starting with these gorgeous wild Peruvian coral arc red pencil fish. These are just a gorgeous pencil fish species that just has a vibrant red to them. Very cool, fun to keep in pairs or groups, and an amazing fish for nano tanks, especially if you want something that just absolutely pops. Super, super cool. And in kind of sticking with the nano theme here, we have these really cool little guys. This is a zebra Otocinclus catfish, so a little different than your regular Otocinclus cats. They do the same thing and they stay nice and small as well, but they just have some absolutely gorgeous patterns to them. I thank you for coming to show off for me. But yeah, these guys are super cool. Don't see them very often at all. But for those of you who like your nano tanks and want a cool workhorse that isn't just a regular old foreign Oto, I definitely recommend these guys. Can't go wrong. Alrighty, we're down to our final three fish. And spoiler alert, all three of the final fish are loaches, but they only get cooler as they go on. So we're gonna start out with this sumo loach, which are, don't get me wrong, incredibly cool loaches. Tons of really vibrant reds and oranges, and they're a cool little bottom dweller that are great for cleaning a lot of different tanks, and they just full of personality. I absolutely love them. And up next, in our last little triage of loaches is the gorgeous spotted spine spoke. Spotted spine loach? That is really hard to say. <laughs> but what they lack in pronounceable names, they make up for by being an absolutely adorable loach species. They don't get too huge, but all around absolutely beautiful. Love the little faces on these guys, and they have a really cool like spotted pattern down their body. You can really see where they get that name. Yeah, really cool. Love these guys. And they do like to bury in sand, so definitely a benefit to any of you who have sand bed tanks. They'll keep your sand beds really well aerated as they dig around looking for uh, worms and other little bits and treats. You can see that adorable little face sticking up right there. But yeah, super cool. 
And as promised, one final super cool, amazing loach. This absolute beauty is the incredibly rare clouded leopard loach. These are these incredible and rare loaches are an awesome Southeast Asian species that actually have the ability to climb up fast flowing rivers and waterfalls, which is super, super cool. But on top of that, like their clouded leopard namesake, they just have an absolutely gorgeous pattern. And they're a nice, good sized chunky loach too, for those of you who likes a little bit of bigger stuff. But yeah, all around, an absolutely incredible species and incredibly rare. And honestly, some of the only ones I've ever seen in person. Really, really, really cool. I would definitely come check this out if you get the chance. That's gonna do it for this week's video. Thank you guys for 500 subscribers again. I cannot thank you enough, and I cannot wait to see you guys push that to a thousand and beyond. But as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And any of our local customers looking for any cool or interesting fish, especially like that super cool, rare little clouded leopard loach, Definitely feel free to email us at contact.aquatic.com. We'd love to see if we can get it in for you. Till next time.